4D printing, and engineering GoBra. All this and more in this episode of Exploration into Technology. Welcome to Exploration into Technology, this week in engineering. When you think of Ireland and its patron saint, St. Patrick, many things may come to mind. Rolling emerald hills, legends of snakes being driven into the ocean, and yes, maybe even stereotypical green beer in honor of St. Patrick's feast day. But do you know that St. Patrick is also considered the patron saint of engineers? According to legend, with a Roman education and a knowledge of Roman concepts of engineering, St. Patrick would have been familiar with incredibly advanced techniques and methods for his time. At some engineering-focused academic institutions, his engineering legacy lives on. At Missouri University of Science and Technology, for instance, self-styled Knights of St. Patrick are well known for celebrating his accomplishments through a series of traditions during the week of St. Patrick's Day. The campus celebration began in 1908, when a group of Rolla students declared that St. Patrick was the patron saint of engineers. It has since grown to encompass a full week of events, as well as campus traditions that begin in early March. And although it will look different this year for everyone's safety and health, the event will continue to honor St. Patrick and celebrate engineers. 3D printing, the process of making three-dimensional solid objects from a digital file. It's changing how manufacturers everywhere think about design, prototyping, and production. But what is the next step? 4D printing. So what is it? Where is it being used now? And what is its future? 4D printing has the potential for transforming advances in biotechnology and medicine, tissue engineering, chemotherapy, and self-assembling biomaterials, medical devices such as stents and splints, orthodontic devices and implants that can grow with the patient. These are just some of the advances that come from 4D printing. That is what's being explored in a recent episode of Mechanical Engineering Magazine's Special Reports. Let's take a look. Biotechnology embraces 3D printing, but 4D solutions are just beginning their evolution. Rapid advancements in 3D printing that have fueled the development of advanced manufacturing applications are well known. New printing techniques and their ability to print objects from a growing variety of materials, such as plastics, metals, ceramics, and more, allow developers and manufacturers to speed prototyping streamline supply chains, and produce complex designs not previously possible. Even so, there are limits to what can be done because the materials are rigid. What is the next step? 4D printing, a term that is a bit of a misnomer because it still relies on 3D printers. Time is the element that pushes 3D to 4D, creating printed materials that change their shape over time. You first have to have 3D manufacturing capability, and then you add smart materials, said Howen Lee, an associate professor of mechanical and space engineering at Rutgers University. Smart materials have the ability to change shape over time, creating a wide-ranging universe of potential new products. NASA has already produced woven metal fabrics that change shape and are foldable. Their potential use ranges from shielding a spacecraft from extreme temperatures to erecting an antenna in space. Bioprinting is a process of printing materials with living cells, most often for product testing and further out reconstructive surgery. Because the printed objects contain living cells, they grow and morph into living tissue over time. Poietis a French bioprinting firm developing its own 4D printing platform was the first to commercialize a bioprinted synthetic skin, Poya Skin. Poya Tis is still a long way from providing skin tissue for reconstructive surgery, but its 3D printed skin has found a place in cosmetic testing, exploiting the movement condemning and in some cases outlawing the use of animals for testing. In 2018, it signed an agreement with Servier a pharmaceutical company, to develop a 4D bioprinted liver model to better predict drug toxicity. The firm's next-generation bioprinting platform features high-resolution laser-assisted printers with software that controls the 3D organization of cells with cell resolution. 
It uses automation and robotics to guarantee reproducible tissue manufacturing, giving the printed tissue the functionality required by researchers. The company claims it is developing new software to program tissue self-organization to anticipate the evolution of bioprinted construct with time, the step that moves the platform to 4D printing. You can watch full episodes of Mechanical Engineering Magazine's special reports on their YouTube channel. Just head to youtube.com slash mechanical engineering magazine. More than 2,000 papers are published in ASME journals each year. ASME journals provide essential resources for engineers looking to keep abreast of the latest research, current theory, practice, and application. One of the best-selling journal offerings is an online companion guide to ASME BPVC. This ebook edition of the companion guide to the ASME boiler and pressure vessel code will provide continuously updated chapters as available for the latest release of the ASME BPV standard. 10 to 20 updated chapters out of the 40 total chapters are expected each year to online subscribers only. Printed hard copies of the companion guide, fifth edition, volumes one and two, published in 2018 are available for purchase on asme.org. Beyond Mechanical Engineering, ASME's expanding journal publishing program covers a wide range of engineering disciplines as well, promoting interdisciplinary problem solving, collaboration, and the advancement of knowledge. ASME continuously publishes special issues on emerging areas. Stay up to date on the latest call for papers if you'd like to submit by visiting ASME Digital Collection Dot asme.org slash journals. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Now please remember to click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.